okay so today we learn again on symbols last class we had symbols we learned about what is symbol different type of symbols graphic movie clip and how both are different and where we'll be using both now i have a small character here just tracing done and all are in group now i'll show you how uh, symbols are in, uh, needed in character now first we are not going to group today we are going to do everything as a symbol now because every part let's like say head right click convert to symbol movie clip or graphic up to you i'll say graphic head this is very important from now on whenever you do the character see that everything is grouped uh, head is already taken so i'll take maybe different one so very important because uh, why symbols you know now now i already done a symbol as a head so two things now when i go inside you can aram say keep the pivot point permanently it won't change and any changes you need maybe this is the character we are working and there are some big episode or in same here only you are using some 500 600 frames of animation later you want to change the color of the character here something so you can go directly you can change inside this symbol so it will affect whole uh, animation aram say you can do that or you want to use this character in different different scenes again and again you can just take it from library the character just copy paste to a new scene and you can continue one more animation so making symbol make again graphic symbol is very important each body part now i'll say this eyebrows so right click convert to symbol graphic give give names as eyebrows and i'll share some character ready character symbols done with grouping and symbol so you can practice with that now see each and every part i'm converting as a symbol like graphic symbol so now important thing i'm converting only the parts where you don't have like animation like mind mind animations i'll show you that also how it works and this is the basic class again once you're done with this you can create total character ready to uh, animate ready rig animation character you can try using same technique okay now yes i'm converted everything into graphic okay okay it is in group Fellows also in group. See, open the properties. You just click on the object, it will say see graphic. Click on this, it will say see graphic. Click on this, it will say graphic. If it is not grouped, it will show you graphic, movie clip, group, something like that. Just imagine I have a line here. I'll say just group. So click on this, go to property, it will say group. So everything will be shown there. Okay. So now everything is here. Uh, symbols are done. Like each part is done as a graphic next go to each one and change the pivot point this is a head so his pivot point will be here right so change the pivot point for each body part so this is one advantage of symbol so once you uh, keep the pivot it won't change in whole animation or you can do one more thing just go inside and you can see there's a black plus mark here right you can just keep it like this also no problem and come out and just move it up you can do that see just go inside select this part and see that just match this plus point to your pivot point come outside and just move it so again you can do this also so again this is one more pivot point wall idea because these pivot points are very important in animation so once you fix this done see now this will be working only from here shoe or if you take this leg it will work only from this point if i take this body part i have made two parts so i'll keep this pure point here so it will be moving from here right so neck neck will be here hand okay this hand okay this hand Control shift plus right click arrange bring to front arrange this is graphic this one also graphic okay maybe we have layers that's why no problem chalo this is the uh, symbols in character now I want animation in eyes like eye blink 
and I want to move his lips and I want to move his hands. Okay. So what to do that or how about that? Because frame by frame, I want to move his eyes. Maybe sometimes I need eye blink and lips moving and hands like different type of hands I want to work. Okay. So how to do that? So again, we'll come back to one step inside the symbol. Like we'll be learning one more idea on symbol. I'll delete this. I'll create something else. Like I'll create again and I'll come back. I'll show you now. See, in, generally in this, we don't have any animation, right? Even lips, we don't want. Hair or head, it is just moving. Even hands and all. But we have more animation with the hands. When we talk, uh, hand gestures are changing. Eye blink will be there. Lips will be there. So that... For those things, you create separate files first. Like example, I'll show you. I have I created separate files for those. See. I'll zoom. I'll go to timeline. Okay. So last class only we know now what is symbol like. See, there are so many frames of different type of lips. We already done this and make it a, make a symbol. Okay. Same thing here, hands. You can see here so many different type of hands. They are already done and made as a symbol. Okay. Eye blink. I created a small eye blink here for this. See, you can see like, like this. So first frame. And one half frame and full close and half open. So I already done these small, small animations here. One for eye blink and different type of hands and different type of lips we already ready it is okay so do something like this first before starting your animation now i'll bring everything here to my work area maybe i'll take eyes control c come back to boy animation file control v i'll keep it here we need one more so control d and modify transform flip horizontal okay and we need lips so eyes over hands okay i'll take this hand wala graphic control c control v see this is the hands i'll copy this for this side also modify transform flip horizontal okay and I'll make it behind weight because it is in a layer. So we have to check now. We'll do layers later. I'll come back to that part later. Okay, now lips. Okay, it is here. Control C. Come back to boy. Say paste lips. So it is here now. We can change the lips position. I'll show you how it works. Cello. So in this first try like this only so in this this boy uh, all are drug symbols but only inside eyes we have some animation inside lips we are having some animation and inside these hands we are having some animation all other things are just symbols so i'll just distribute to layers first i'll just keep everything in a different different layers so you can have like just say control uh what you call select everything and distribute to layers but here already they are in some different layers i'm just checking that's why so eyes are there correct we need both the eyes in different layers control x i'm just keeping everything in different different layers So in this layer, we are having one eye, here one more eye, here we have lips, I'll come back one by one. So first layer, we have lips here, we have two eyes, one more layer, we have leg, one more, we have one more leg, then hand, one more hand, head, neck, body, this part of hands two parts okay so this has to go back right okay we'll check that shallow so this hand if you want to go back just send him back click send him back done 
still more back okay so character is ready to animate now okay now next level so first group the character second distribute to layers third give okay make everything like symbols then decide which symbol need inside animation like uh, eyes okay we need eye blink lips lips will be moving hand hand position like first decide those parts where you need some different animation inside a symbol then arrange like this the character now if i want to check again see i'll go inside the eyes you can see here see there is eye blink come back if i check inside hands there are some different different type of hands you can check this i'll share this file so to practice see different type of hands here so plan like this okay done now what is animation you see inside lips we have some different lips you can stop everywhere Hello. now important thing open properties first and it's very very important topic now what we are looking here now if i give f5 you know like when you give f5 to graphic that animation works outside right whatever is there in inside it will start working outside also we know already this in old class now i'll give 20 frames f5 wait and we'll see this is one if i animate see see the lips it is working even the eye blinks they are also working but we can't control because it is inside a graphic right whatever is there inside graphic it will work now how to control this i'll show one by one steps there are three important things one click on this lips i'll just click on the lips and open properties there are three things loop play once single frame play once when it will play loop if i give it will be playing automatically like one continuously it will be playing in a loop like example inside lips we are having only 15 different drawings but outside as i am i'll give more i'll give 25 frames means that lip will start looping after 15 frames you only see the lips it is looping so first option was loop next play once means it will play it for 15 frames and it will stop see this is one more thing last but important thing is single frame means it won't animate only one frame will be there check only lips it is not animating and here we have one lip and there is a number called first 11 simply go inside the lips and just check our cursor is there in 11 so we can see the 11th frame the 11th design of the lip so come back now you can change here see use frame picker if you click this it will show you all different 15 frames or all, all different 15 designs of the lip which is inside your graphic you can click anyone see you can i just press one that lip will come if i press this this will come if i press this this will come this is very very important so when you do lip syncing and all you can call each design of lips like this just click on the number done see now there is no animation only the first lip because when i click on the lip it is a single frame number one you want don't want this one do you want different one check use frame picker and maybe you click this lip or this lip just leave it see so that lip will be there till you say next like example maybe after some frames i want some different lip go press f6 and again go to frame picker and just check change the lip see it is changing now because we are controlling it after 10th frame you want to change something click on f6 and change the lip see it is moving got it so this is how you can control from inside very important inside graphic because inside there are 15 different type of lips when you say come outside it will play automatically but using this particular technique where you will say like a single frame and numbers you are you are controlling the frames here i'll say use frame picker i'll say this o so it will come see automatically you start from like, like this so one you have six like keyframe and change the lip one more you have six any like whatever lips you want you can change like this so practice like this first so once you are okay with this you can do lip sync later 
now same with the eye blink i'll go to eyes now so if i go inside eyes you can see like on fifth frame there is eye blink and there is nothing like it's a plain same here also if you want you can say single frame so you don't have any eye blink there i want i was controlling the right one so if you want eye blink go there and i'll you just say click and say play once so you'll have once eye blink like this or you want to close that eye just check which frame it is it is on like which frame eighth frame it is closed so come outside and you just say single frame and just open the use frame picker you can see all the frames i'll take this so there is no animation like because we use single frame one eye will be closed one more eye will be having animation right this is chalo now i'll come back to hands same here also with the hands if i go inside hands see there are some 21 different different hands are there i'll share these files now again when you are animating you want you have to change hands in second yeah when you are animating see click on this you can see lot of hands you just decide which animation you want in which frame very very easy so i'll just click if i say play once it will play all the drawing see and it will stop if i say loop click and you say loop see or if i say single frame click say single frame and use frame picker so you can see you can pick exactly which hand you want see you are going to take this hand so like this you can pick any hands like this so it's like a very very easy idea so this is how we use symbols in character okay so just just click here just click on the hands whichever you want or you can transform it you just say change you want to change the lips click which lip you want to change like this you want to change the eyes like closed eyes half eyes change 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 to single frame first sorry yeah you can have everything like this so practice this we already done some characters in old classes character model charts take those characters make group and make trace and do like the separate separate animations for eyes separate animation as a symbol for lips separate animation for uh, inside lips different different lips even for hand so it will be useful to do the character animation i'll show you character uh, animation later once you do this much we can have that part like on the go when you are doing animation how you are going to change the eyes lips hand movement all those things Okay, practice this much. So this was the class on symbols, second level symbols and character animation. This was the class. So practice this. Thank you.